All you have to do is simply have to follow along with me and just make sure to download all the given files given in the description okay so just go and follow and download from there and also make sure that you will find my instagram profile link in the description just go and follow me there and if you face any kind of difficulties in following this video just go and message me i will try to help as much people i can okay so let's start this video without wasting any more time So here you can see guys on my smartphone. So first of all, let's see how we can download and install the latest Windows 11 on Android phone. So first of all, you download two things. One is the Limbo PC emulator and second is the Windows 11 image file. Okay, so to download the Windows uh, 11 image file and the Limbo emulator, just go to the description you will find download link. So first of all, download the Limbo emulator. So just open the link. It will open something like this. Simply select any version of Limbo emulator like the latest version here. And if the possibility is that latest version is not working fine on a smartphone, so just download the older version of the Limbo emulator. Okay, so we'll find all the version of Limbo emulator of this official GitHub profile link of the Limbo emulator. Okay, so to download the Windows 11 image file, just go to the description. You'll find a download link and just open it. It will open something like this. What you have to do basically, it is sort in URL web page. What is to simply give me a little bit of amount of money just to make sure that this channel keeps running. Okay, you simply have to just to click on this i'm not a robot click on the back button click on the i'm not a robot and just select all the images with the mountain or hills so just select this one this one and this one and click on verify okay now just slide down and select here to click here to continue click on the back button and it will show some timer like this what you have to do you simply have to wait for this timer to complete you can see and now it's completed the slide down and now click on the get link click on the back button and now you are on the official download link of the windows 11 given by me okay so what you have to do simply click on the download button and it will start the download process okay so just make sure that you have a good amount of storage left in your smartphone so after download this one okay so as a little download it i'm not going to do it again after downloading this one you have to go to the play store and just download an app called rare okay so just download and install this app and now click on the open and now go back to the place where you kept your downloaded windows 11 image file so for me i kept it inside a documents folder and here is the downloaded windows 11.7z image file simply select on it click on this button and just select the ok button so select the location where you want to extract the downloaded windows 11 image file so as I already did it, I'm not going to do it again. Here you can see this is the downloaded Windows 11 image file and it's the extracted version. So basically I extracted the file and it is of the size 5 GB. Okay. So just make sure that you extract the downloaded Windows 11 image file and just remember the location because you are going to use that location inside the Limbo PC emulator. Okay. So now just go back to your home screen. So what you have to do, you have to do Limbo emulator now. Click on it and now click on this none button and click on new and give the machine name so just give your machine name to the windows 11 you can give any name as of your choice click on done now click on create now just slide down and click on the custom iso and hard disk file okay now in the user interface section just make sure it's set to all these default values now go to the board and just make sure the machine type is pc and cpu model to be the sandy bridge okay and the cpu course should be the maximum course that you can give like if your smartphone has octa octa core processor just make sure that you keep around three to four cores okay and if it has less code just make sure that you keep around one to two cores now click on okay so now in the ram memory option just select it and give as much ram as you can like if your smartphone has 8 12 gb of ram just give here like 3 to 4 gb of ram 
so what i'm going to do i'm going to give here 3 gb frame like this okay so i'm going to give you 3 gb of ram you can give even more it's depending on your smartphone ram memory okay now click on disable tsc and click on enable mttcg now click on okay and in the disk option just click on none and click on open so just go to the place where you kept your earlier downloaded windows 11 image file so for me i kept it inside my documents folder here you can see and in documents i just extracted the downloaded uh, rare file here it is the folder and here is windows 11 virtual hard disk file so i am going to select it just make sure it go to the place where you kept your windows 11 hard disk file and select it now after selecting it just slide down go to the boot option and select from boot from default to the hard disk okay in the graphics section just select the standard to the vmware and just keep everything as default okay so just make sure that given a right amount of ram if your smartphone is start crashing after you click on the play button just make sure to give a list a little bit less amount of ram depending on your smartphone ram's memory okay just after setting up everything now you what you have to do you have to click on the play button just wait here and let the windows 11 booting process to complete so it's not going to take a lot of time you can see right now it's 11 9 so let's see after how much minute it's going to boot up completely So here you can see guys that the booting process is almost completed. So you can see the official Windows 11 wallpaper and you can see the start menu and the search bar and the file manager and the Microsoft Edge. Okay. So it's taken me uh, around 10 minutes. Here you can see 11.22 is the time right now. And when I started it was 11.9. So it's taken me around uh, 10 minutes. So it may be possible for you, it will take more time or less time. So just make sure that if your Limbo is running slow, so just download the older version of Limbo emulator like Limbo emulator 5.1.0 or any other and just make some changes in the amount of RAM and processor you're given and find the fastest configuration for your smartphone. Okay. So here you can see this is the Windows 11. Let me start the Windows 11 start menu. So here you can see this is the admin option. And here you can see the pinned application like Microsoft is setting file explorer. And here you can go to all apps. So this is the uh, newly changed Windows 11 uh, start menu. Previously on the Windows 10, you get a little bit more different options. And Windows 11, it's pretty much clean up. Okay. So let me close this one. Uh, let me go to the this PC and see what is the uh, value they are showing in the properties. So here you can see guys, this is the Windows 11, this PC and here you can see the system uh, space is right now is 15 GB and around on of which I have 12 GB of uh, space is left. And you can see the newly changed UI of the Windows 11 and it's running very smoothly. You can see as I move my mouse pointer, it's detecting everything. So let me open the system properties and show you that it's Windows 11. So here you can see guys, this is the device specification. You can see the processor is a SMD bridge and the amount of frame is around 3 GB. And this is a 64 bit operating system. And here you can see this is the Windows 11 Pro. And so this is the official Windows 11 Pro, you can see. And everything is running very smooth. You can see when I click on here, it's just running very fast. So when I click on it here, it's running very fast like a normal PC that you normally use on your laptop or PC. 
okay even you will get the option to access the internet using the microsoft is and even you can just open the start menu and just to start using everything that you like okay so after using it for around 10 to 15 minutes it will start running faster as compared to when it boot up okay so just give it some time and make sure that you given the right configuration as according to your smartphone specification okay so let's close everything so you can see guys that everything is closed so i hope you like this video and this is the fastest windows 11 on android right now and this is my first video on windows 11 on android and i'm going to give you a lot more videos on this making this process more faster and having the faster windows 11 on android phone and even i'm going to give you some videos on how to run the games on android phone using the windows 11 or windows 10 just make sure to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update okay guys so thanks for watching this video have a good day good luck and bye take care